Hello YouTube, making a video <clears throat> of my uh, magnetic pulser that I made. This was I made this a few years ago. Uh, this is Dr. Robert Beck's idea, and um, he has a video here on YouTube. I'll leave a link for it. It's a great video. He talks about his, the magnetic pulser and the the way you can treat yourself with it. Um, also he talks about uh, making your own uh, colloidal silver and um, so you can drink it but he also talks to the most importantly about a, a device that he made real simple you can make your own he shows you how um, blood electrifier um, basically in your wrist you have your ulnar and radial arteries and um, he has two contacts off this little circuit <clears throat> that contact your wrist and uh, electrify your blood. Recommend watching that video and uh, listening to what he has to say. Uh, it's all the truth. But anyways, um, I had this out today because it was packed away. I had moved, but I had also cut the uh, coil off of it and used it for something else a while back. So I put a new coil on and I thought I'd make a video of it I meant to when I made it but this thing I've gotten a lot of benefits out of this helps a lot I also treat my dog with it Angus he has uh, oh he's occupied <laughs> um, he has a stifle injury if anyone uh, is around horses any I used to work with horses a bit and uh, sometimes they get a stifle injury, which is an injury to what's analogous to our um, quadriceps, right? But they shake their, the horse's leg will shake. Well, the same thing happened to Angus. He was running around doing zoomies in the wet yard and, and um, injured it. And um, anyways, this is a way that I treat it, and it really helps him. And... Uh, it's actually why I've pulled it out, but actually I use this on myself as well, on uh, my um, back muscles. Anyone who has any sort of muscle pain or soft tissue pain, this kills will kill the pain uh, for, you know, for me it lasts at least an hour at a time. And that's with no medications or anything. Now basically what this is, is a wand and it has a coil on the end and a button right and you push the button the button has a little spring on it it's a momentary on button I think is what it's called I bought it at an electronics store but you can find these on old electronics parts a lot of the time anyways uh, you push that button and it allows the electricity to pass through the coil and it makes a pulsing magnetic field with what it what this is is a um, what do you call it a strobe light I got it at the store for I think ten dollars in the past but uh, basically every time that light flashes and you can change on this one change the speed at which it flashes um, every time that light flashes uh, the electric uh, current also goes through this coil but it makes a magnetic field a pulsing magnetic field and it it's good for treating your uh, soft tissues again like I said I use that on my back muscles and uh, honestly 10 minutes minutes 10 minutes made maybe that long up and down either side of my spine on my muscles gets really tired and uh, achy I don't want to sound whiny but um, this helps a lot so I'm I'm going to be using this this evening, <laughs> uh, me and Angus. But anyways, I, I left it the screws uh, off of it so I could show you the inside quickly. Because I think, like this thing benefits me so much that I want to show you. Because if this could benefit someone as well as it benefits me, you know, that's good. Um, big pharma and drugs, really, I don't think are the way to go. Anyways, this is the... Um, strobe light now in the back it has an adjustment here for the speed at which the light flashes um, this is the wire that goes to the wand basically it's a speaker wire 
cheap speaker wire but the wire comes into the wand here two wires in there and one goes through this momentary on switch so when you push it on it's on and when you let go it's off so you can control it and um, basically that's a, a coil from a microwave oven fan but you can use any coil you can make your own whatever and I just soldered it on there but that wire comes in the back you just drill a little hole through the plastic and put that wire through there tie a knot in case you pull on it right you don't mess up your connection but on the side of the uh, strobe bulb in there there's one of the connections you want to uh, disconnect it clip it and just simply connect those two wires from your wand in, in between there so that every time this little circuit pulses it pulses through that wire normally it would just go through the wire and through the light bulb and pulse the bulb right but um, this way it also goes through the coil and back and through the bulb so every time the bulb flashes it goes through the coil and makes a magnetic field as well but it's very very easy to do and it's very very much worth it let me tell you um, I don't take pills of any kind so um, you know this really helps and I think it could help someone else too but it just plugs into the wall right um, I, I also added a switch this, this switch wasn't there I got that at the electronics store too um, two bucks or something through I forget but uh, again just basically drilled a hole in the plastic and situated it in there now it's not necessary you know you can just go with the plug in the wall um, but I kind of like to have the switch there anyways easy to do fun little project you get to use your soldering iron <laughs> but um very 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 much worth uh, the little bit of effort it takes. Oh, I can show you it operate. I have my a little paper or uh, not a paper clip, a staple in there, and I'm just going to put it on top of the coil if I can get it to stay. There we go. Yeah, switch her on, and I'm going to flick the switch. And you see that little, it's hard to do with the camera. One, there we go. Anyway, you see the staple flipping around. There it is. It flips around every time the, the um, magnetic field goes on. Here's a paper clip. It doesn't flip around as much, but. It shows you the magnetic field that's being created every time that light flashes. It pulses through that coil. So I'll take that coil and, you know, this is my knee. That would help your knee. You know, I, I do this to myself. It doesn't hurt you. You don't feel it. There's absolutely no feeling that you get from it. But um, you'll find that that really helps. And I, I use it on my back muscles, which is how I use it. And on Angus's stifle injury muscle. And it really helps him, um, pet owners. Um, and this is kind of something I went through with him with that injury. Is that I was told by a vet that um, it was his hip and to get ready to have them put down and this is the end and I researched it myself and um, you know come to find out I was working with the horses too and I thought to myself this is a stifle injury you know it turns out and, and I had been manipulating his joints you know and um, stretching them out and and putting them through a range of motion and couldn't elicit a response from him of any kind but then as soon as I put my dug my finger, I didn't even have to, just touch that uh, um, quadriceps muscle area where the stifle injury is. 
And immediately, you know, he turns his head and, ooh. But um, really helps him a lot. So for, and it was that, I, again, I was going to say it was a learning experience for um, <laughs> uh, how, how little some people know, but they pretend to know everything, you know. And I don't want to say bad things about vets, but. It was, I've had bad experiences with vets, with the dog and with the horses and stuff. But anyways, there are good ones out there. Had good experiences as well. Very good experience with vets. Anyways, that's it. I'm going to leave the link in the info box up to uh, Dr. Beck's um, video where he talks about this device. He also talks about making your own colloidal silver, which I have as well. Maybe I'll make a video of that as well. And um, he also talks about his uh, blood electrifier. Very interesting. Everyone needs to get one of those. I had one. I made one. He tells you how to make them. But I pulled it apart. And um, I need to make another one of those. And uh, very soon. And when I do, um, I'll make a video of it and how easy it is to make. A little bit of... You don't even know have to know anything about electronics. Just it's like you put the nails in a little piece of wood and solder the wires together, and it's like uh, putting a recipe together. But this uh, device is very interesting. I'll leave the link down there. I've got my wheel out. I pulled it out yesterday, and um, I was going to put start putting the magnets on it, but I need to weigh them all again, um, just because it's so much easier to make sure it's balanced uh, prior to putting them on but I need to do that oh but I also need to move the wheels on the shaft which is uh, a delicate yet forceful operation <laughs> but uh, I have to do that that one those things won't take long I'm thinking one one layer of magnets on the wheel to start with see how it goes I'm excited. I was pricing. Um, thank you to everyone who's given me all the support um, out there. Kind words. A few people have donated. Thank you very, very much. Um, that's helped me mentally and spiritually more than anything. I've been down on the world for quite a while and um, uh, just kind of shocking. Anyways, thank you very much. And I was on uh, eBay last night pricing mag uh, five 10-pound spools of magnet wire. And I can't wait to wind a coil from a big brand new spool. It'll be great. But, um, and it'll be, go way faster. I'll be able to put them around this thing. I'm, one, I'm you know, this, it's going really well. I moved and I really wondered how it was going to hold up. The bearings seem to be good still and... Everything, everything's going to clean them up, um, soap them up, and then grease them, or not grease them, but uh, get some lithium grease on them. But uh, there you go, Dr. Bob Beck, um, magnetic pulser, very, very helpful. Everyone could probably benefit from it. We all probably have aches and pains. But in the days coming, <clears throat> the blood electrifier and the um, way of making your own colloidal silver is really, really vital um, information, knowledge to have in the crazy big pharma days that we live in. Anyways, there you go. I'll have another vid in a day or two for sure. Uh, take care.